name is Kelly Anston. I'm the choreographer of I Mind. It's about disabilities, but not only the disabilities of disabled bodies, but how we ourselves create what we have as disabilities. It's basically about how we as able-bodied people blind ourselves to the world and disable ourselves in that way or we depend on, on other things and blinding ourselves in that way that we create our own crutches of dependence instead of using our own strength to get through it. So it's more of a mental disability than the physical disability. Mental not meaning mental mentally disabled but how we perceive things and create a disability out of it. I was first thinking of I myself, I mind and when I look deeper into what the message means of the full dance and I look deeper into the whole storyline where we are blinded by what is around us and we are blind ourselves by what's happening in the world and what's different instead of seeing it as different why don't we see it as unique why do we make it an outcast and why don't we use it to our benefit instead of just shoving it to the side so I changed the title to I mind and not I mind so it's what you see and what you see goes through to your head and it's what what you see is what you think so instead of saying I mind it's like what we see other people do which is I minding which is seeing and perceiving the idea of what they see and not what they know so that is where I mind come from and I ran it by a couple of my dancers and I was like what do you think of I mind? What does it say to you? And when they came up with the same answer or similar perspective of what I had, I knew, okay, this is the one. This is this is what I need my title to be. It has that message that I'm trying to send across without me explaining what my dance is about. Saying I mind already gives you a perception of what it might be about, which is all I wanted. And then it's what you where you place yourself in the choreography because somebody is one of those characters in the dance and only once you watch it you actually see yourself in it. The way that this process went with um, the whole dancing and getting my dances it was quite um, difficult to start off with to find the dances that I, I needed to put with the kind of style that I wanted to show and in doing that I wanted to show more than one style of dancing. I wanted to show contemporary, I wanted to show a little bit of African, a bit of hip hop, a bit of ballet, a bit of everything so that I can also show my strengths and the strengths of the dancers. So um, working with them was quite, it was quite a challenge, it was quite good. Um, I call my, the way I choreograph disabled choreography, <laughs> going with the theme of the whole dance being based on disabilities and each one had a, a different way of learning the choreography so I'll start at the beginning. 